Hey everyone, Dan here at Profoto. This video is a menus overview video for Profoto 6, which is currently in the public beta release cycle. Um, this video is intended to, to give an idea of how menu items and structures are created in Profoto 6 to hopefully give you uh, a better understanding and, and make things easier as you are creating your own designs in Profoto 6. So the first thing we're going to do in the customizer here is head to the menu section and we need to look over here on the right at our, our menu item library. So the first concept, and we're going to kind of cover three con three major concepts. Uh, the first one are menu items, which are individual menu links. So these are all of the little individual links that go to specific content that you're wanting to link to. So all previously created menu items are here under the custom item section and to create a new custom menu item you just click this button here and you'll see all different types of menu item links you can create from gallery links to to category links and so forth. Um, we're going to just create a we'll create a page link here. Um, well, how about we have it linked to our pricing page so we're just going to call it uh, pricing obviously we'll create that menu item and right away you'll see it appear at the top of that custom items list and now it's also automatically added to the current menu structure that we're working on so menu items that's the first thing we talked about those are the individual menu links now the next item are meant these menu structures which are, are groupings of individual menu um, items individual links so what we can do is we can add by just clicking and dragging these um, over into the menu structure um, into the, whatever order we want we can click and drag these items around to reorder them um, so this but this is where you will create the the structures of individual menu links to create a new menu structure you simply just create click this new menu um, box just call it say bottom navigation we'll save it you can always rename it or even delete the menu structure but um, this is a new menu structure we're going to create so we can just click and drag items um, from here over and what's also pretty cool is down here below all WordPress pages that we've created in galleries that we've created, Profoto galleries, any page or gallery that's published are automatically appear down below. And all you have to do is anyone you want to add, just check it. So check these here, all these gallery pages, click Add Selected, and they're already added to our menu structure. And if we want to click and drag those around, you can simply do so by just grabbing the handles here and, and moving it around. Now if we wanted to um, say have these be a uh, submenu items of a, of a parent, say we have this portfolio link and we want all these to be children, you can just click and drag them inside of portfolio and you can see here they become become children links. So if you now if you delete a parent then the, the children will be deleted with it as well. So that's just something um, to be to be aware of. but we'll go ahead and add those those pages back so now we've got our menu structure uh, in place now the third piece the, to be aware of are our menu widgets and that's how we actually add these menu structures to the site and as you can see here menu structures are always shown in this particular pane vertically but when we go to add a menu to our site we're going to do so with a menus widget so we'll we'll go ahead and add a new widget here. We'll select menu widget. And now all of the different menu structures that we have available that we've created appear to us. So we'll select that bottom navigation menu structure we created and we can select the display type. So even though in the the menu builder it showed it vertically you can you could set it to show vertically but you can also choose to show it horizontally we'll choose horizontally then we'll set it to it to appear center we'll create the widget and now we all ha we have a new menu down here so let's go to our our site real quick and uh, see what that see what that looks like okay now this is a smaller screen 
so we're going to quick blow it up and explain then I'll get back to that smaller screen in a second um, so here's that new menu structure that we created down that we placed in that row down here and here are some of those other menu structures that were created also showing via widgets now as the screen gets smaller because Profoto 6 is fully responsive see that, that those uh, menu structures disappear and now we have this new menu up here this is our Profoto mobile menu up here um, on the on the left via this icon to choose which menu structure you want to be as your mobile menu back in the menu section under responsive settings you can select in the mobile menu configuration here which of those menu structures you want to be so we had selected our default base menu structure which is here home blog about and you can see home blog about that menu structure is serving as our mobile menu so it's probably a good idea to make sure you choose a menu structure that has your kind of more vital menu items in it since that's what's going to be shown on, shown on smaller screens and then you can choose whether you want that mobile menu to always be present no matter the screen size or only on small screens and then you can select select a breakpoint that you want it to to appear at um, as the screen gets smaller so that is how menus work in Profoto 6 remember we've got our uh, individual menu items menu links that you create you add them to menu structures and you can to uh, move those around and then we actually display those menu structures on the site via Profoto menu widgets um, in the in the rows and in columns that we create so hope that helps make sense and we hope you enjoy using Profoto 6